Hi, my name is Eric, and today me and my partner Corey are going to do a lesson about nutrition and exercise during the COVID-19 pandemic. The goal of this lesson is to talk about the impact that the current situation has had on our lives and the drastic change in the way that we are living could cause us to change the healthy behaviors that we currently practice. This teaching demonstration will give you some guidance on what to do to keep a healthy routine during this pandemic and even some helpful tips for when we return to normal life. The objectives for this video are learn how the effects of the pandemic have changed the way we get food, learn effective ways to exercise without a gym and minimal equipment, talk about additional ways to stay healthy during the quarantine. The pandemic has definitely had a big impact on our nutrition and our normal routines. Some people can't go out just buy a good healthy meal whenever they need. They now must turn to unhealthy options like fast food and takeout. Places like Walmart and Giant Eagle are offering in-store pickup and delivery to try and limit human contact to prevent the spread of the virus. Both in-store pickup and delivery are good ways to get fresh produce without walking the aisles of the store. A couple, couple healthy meal choices for you could be rice and chicken, peanut butter and jelly, which are both quick and easy to make. Canned beans and soups are also good to buy and keep because they have good shelf lives and are healthy and affordable options. Because we are all asked to stay at home and all the gyms are closed, these are some exercises that you can do at home with just a dumbbell or no equipment at all. Things like curls, squats, push-ups, and sit-ups are great things to do. Of those exercises listed, you can create yourself some great home workouts. If you don't have dumbbells, you can choose a few of the no equi equipment exercises listed to make a good home workout. For example, a combination you could use to get a good full body workout is running half a mile to a mile, then doing a couple sets of burpees body weight squats, push-ups, and sit-ups. Then after some good sets of those, if you feel good enough, you can run another half mile to a mile. Also remember it is good to stretch before and after you exercise to limit your chance of injury. In addition to practicing good nutrition and exercising, there are a few other things you can do to stay healthy while stuck at home. The first is to make sure you take frequent mental breaks from work or to stand up and stretch if you have been sitting for long periods of time to give your body a rest. One thing you can do during these breaks is to go on a walk by yourself or with a pet. The next thing to do is to visu visualize your meals five to seven days out and make one large trip to the grocery store to get everything you need. This will limit the amount of trips that you take to the store, thus eliminating your exposure. The final thing that you should do is to try to stick to your normal schedule as best as you can. This includes things like waking up and going to sleep at the same time, eating meals at the same time that you normally would, and still trying to find time to exercise. Our first question is, which source of food is the most healthy choice? And we'll give you a few seconds to make a choice. The answer is B, buying enough food from a grocery store for many days and cooking the majority of meals. Our second question is, which of the following is the best combination for someone without any equipment to do to stay active? I'll give you a few seconds to think about your answer. The answer is C, burpees, running, and body weight squats. The final question we have is, which of these is something that you want to avoid while staying inside? The answer is A, sitting down and working for eight consecutive hours. And these are the references that we used. Thank you.